This is the second part of the SOLIDWORKS tutorial showing FEA simulation by using a brake rotor from the SOLIDWORKS SAE tutorial. This video will cover the setup and running of a static study by applying the thermal load from the earlier part. The post-processing of this static study will also be shown. The first step in using simulation is to open a new file or open an existing file that you want to run FEA analysis on. Once open, select Tools, Add-ins, and check the box next to SOLIDWORKS Simulation. This will launch the add-in and a simulation tab will appear in the Command Manager. To create a new study, select the drop-down under Study Advisor and click New Study. Give the study a name and select Static as the type. The next step is to make sure material is applied to all of the parts. Material can be applied individually to parts or to all of the parts by right clicking the parts folder under the study and selecting apply material to all. Once material is applied a fixture needs to be added to the rotor where it attaches to the shaft. Right click fixtures under the simulation study and select fixed geometry. Choose the inside of the rotor. Because this study is looking at where the brake pad is applied a roller slash slider fixture is needed. A split line was created before that has the profile of the pad. On the other side of the rotor, the pressure of the other pad needs to be applied. This is added by right clicking external loads and selecting pressure. This value can be determined through experiments. The pad that is applying pressure to the rotor also has friction associated with it. This can be applied by adding another force to the pad area and using an axis to choose the radial direction of the force. This axis can be selected using the flyout feature manager and the force can be added in the circumferential direction. To set up the thermal loading that is imposed by the brake pads, right click the study name and select properties. Under the flow slash thermal effects tab, add temperature from thermal study. Choose the previously computed study and set the time step to 30 as we want the maximum temperature distribution which is at the end of braking. The model can now be meshed using the curvature based mesh. When the model is meshed, the study can be run by clicking run in the simulation tab. Once that is finished computing, the first plot shown is the stress that is on the model. To view the amount of displacement, just double click on displacement in the results folder. The deformation of the rotor is also shown at a large scale so that it is easier to view where any deformation occurs.